Now we're going to take a look at lead, lag, head, and tail. And uh, the functions are very similar. The uh, code is uh, fairly easy to understand as we come through and take a look at it. Lead is um, the, no, I'm sorry, lag is one of the uh, top 20 queries made down there, which is a little bit odd in that uh, we're normally uh, not interested in lag. But lag and lead are, are really very, very similar, as you'll see as we come down here. The lead function returns the member, specified number of positions, after the specified member on the same level. Lag is the reverse. Returns the member before on the same level. The head function, specified number of elements, three, four, five, six, seven, from the beginning of a set. Head is commonly used with the order function as we'll use it. Tail is the reverse, you know, tail shows me the dogs. Returns specified number of elements from the end of the set. So we'll take a look at our code. <clears throat> and I don't want to look at tail first. First thing we're going to take a look at is not bad. Down here, we're going to take a look at lead. And let me close this up so I don't have that open in there. So lead down here, and I'm bringing in two. And when I executed down here, I'm asking for February 2006. And I want to lead back here, so I'm back to December 2005, January, December. And it makes sense. Okay. So there's my lead, and if I move on over to my lag function, now I'm asking for lag, and again I'm passing into and February, March, April. All right. Now if I change this to a negative integer and re-execute the query, now I'm back in here to April 2006, and if I that's on my lag, and if I go back over to lead. If I go back and write one, back over to lead and change that. Remember, I'm in December. Now I'm going to reverse that and I'm going to put in a negative integer. And now I'm in December 2005. So you see, lead and lag are, are very, very similar depending on if we go forward or if we go back or if we use a positive or a negative integer. Now, <clears throat> here's my head function. And as I said, I'm using that quite often within the uh, order. You know, So down here, I'm asking for reseller gross profit on the column. And now I'm using the head. And what I want to retrieve is the top five by using the order function. And I want to break the hierarchy. So break descending all right, as I drop on down there. And I'll change it out in a second to show you what it's like if I don't, if I don't break the hierarchy. So now when I execute that code, I come through and here, as you can see, as they drop on down, here's the top five of members of, showing, of reseller, uh, buy reseller gross profit. If I don't break the hierarchy, re-execute the code. Now the hierarchy is in, intact. And as you see, as we drop on down, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense here unless I break out the hierarchy. Tails the reverse. Again, now there, I want to look at the tail. So who are the dogs? And as I drop on up here, as I come on through and I'm breaking, descending, and I can also do an ascending. So now as I'm dropping on down, I can do it either way. And that's all there is to uh, lead, lag, head, and tail. Very easy to understand functions.